What's up friends, Chuck here, and welcome to Outlast 2. So on that poll questionnaire that I put up on YouTube, uh, Outlast 2 and The Last of Us were drawn for uh, votes on which game you would like me to play next. And as I described in my um, content video, update video, sorry, uh, that I'm still working on trying to get a PS4 fix and getting it to record as well as I would want it to, as, as well as it used to. Uh, so we're gonna do Outlast 2 first. It should be a shorter game, so we'll get we'll get through it uh, a bit quicker than, than uh, Prey, for instance. Um, things to, to make note of before we start. One, I didn't know where to put my face cam. Uh, I looked up Outlast 2 on YouTube and a lot of people put it in the top left. So I, I, I'll put it there. Uh, we can always change that. Two, the audio, um, it just has volume. That, that's all it has. There's no individual volume for, for music or sound effects or speech or anything. It's just volume. Uh, so we'll leave it as full and hopefully it's fine. And then the third thing to note before we start is uh, I also did a Google of whether you needed to know uh, the story and history of the first game. Turns out you don't, uh, but just a brief update sort of reminder or, or just a, a, a like storytelling of the first game if you've never played or experienced it or anything is uh, there was a, a company called Murkoff Corporation, I think it was, um, and they, they weren't nice. Um, they performed uh, very wrong and nasty experiments on people in an insane asylum and you went in there as a journalist uh, to document it and chaos ensued so with all that said and done let's get started in outlast 2 and it's a completely different game uh, not related to the first at all as far as i'm aware but let's find out story mode i'm here for the ride normal hard uh, let's just go normal right Outlast 2 contains intense violence gore graphic sexual content and strong language please enjoy <laughs> i will uh, in Outlast 2, there were two twins, um, two twin guys that followed you around naked, and uh, they were the penis twins. Okay, Lynn Langerman is an investigative journalist, seeking the answer behind a pregnant woman's murder under impossible circumstances in rural Arizona. Okay, so we're a journalist again. No, we're not. You are Blake Langman, her husband. Uh, Langerman, sorry. Assistant and cameraman. Okay, oh, that, that yeah, the, the gameplay is uh, you're behind a camera. Recording stuff. Record everything. Neither of you are fighters. Uh, okay, so we're both going in. To navigate the horrors waiting for you in the desert, your only choice is to either run, hide, or die. Yeah, so there's no fighting. Um, you record everything with your camcorder, has night vision and all the rest of it, and um, you can't fight back, so you run and cry in a corner. Um, that's all. And it, it was quite... There was a preacher in the first one. It was kind of... Religious-y. Anyway, let's see what we've got. He's coming. Ah! He's here! No! Get away! Ah! Jesus, Blake. Are you really sleeping? I'm awake. You should have slept last night. Well, I had to get that hospital footage organized. You were calling out some other woman's name. What? In your sleep. Jessica, I think. Blake, what are you doing? You know a Jessica? Oh, uh, <laughs> no, no. I mean, I was dreaming about Jessica Gray from when we were kids. Oh, yeah. I, I haven't thought about her in ages. And Blake thinks hey, it or not. We're crossing into reservation land now. You said I'm looking for some sort of factory? Yeah. We can look, but there's nothing out here. It does look pretty empty. All the mercury in that woman's blood, she had to have spent at least a decade downstream from some pretty heavy industry. You say so, man. You bought the time. We should record an intro while we're up here. Production value? Sure. Okay. Can't work my diaphragm with this thing on. Oh, you gonna be crap. We'll have to. Whoa! What the fuck? Fuck! Sorry about that. My panel's a little soft, but ah, uh, well, we're good. <laughs> oh, that was exciting. Okay, first time behind the camera. As you, can. you got me? Yeah, we're good. Um, um, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Have a soup pie. Have a soup pie. I don't want a soup pie. Okay. All right, let's just not film her. I'm Lynn Langerman, <laughs> here for newstomorrow.net. Yeah. We're flying past the Have a Soup Pie Indian Reservation in central Arizona in search of the origins of murder victims. Hey, Lynn, um, I don't think you should say murdered. We don't know that. Oh, I'll say she strangled herself to death. That's what the police report says. 
We may play this before the doctor interviews. If this falls on the first 30, we need to get the word murder in there. We should probably mention the fetus, too. I mean, how it just... Here, let me try a version that can serve as an intro for the whole piece. Tell me when we're good. Okay. We're good. We're good. Two weeks ago, a young woman was found wandering, barefoot, pregnant, and alone on a barren stretch of highway a hundred miles from the nearest... Oh! Oh, no. We lost the engine! Fuck! Fuck! Oh, oh shit! Quite the intro, actually. Quite the intro. All right, so we've got the religious themes running through it again. Um, can we pull up our camera? We do not have our camera yet. Okay. Um, well, we crashed in, in a helicopter. We have now gained consciousness in a dark corridor. So that's awesome. We can't do anything but walk. We can't run. Oh, here we go. Oh shit, we're back in school. All right. To Jessica. First place. He's a little smug bastard. Look at him. <laughs> uh, he's shit on his arm though. I mean, it's not the not the place to wipe your ass. And can't really take anything in here, so this is gonna fall down. You watch. It didn't fall down. Oh, there's a man. Oh my god, who walks this slowly? Holy shit. Run, dude! Okay, we said we were in Arizona, right? I have absolutely no idea where Arizona is. Not a clue. I don't know anything about the US. I'm I'm well, I'm useless with geography in, in, in like, general. Uh, but the US, I'm terrible with. Oh shit, that can't be good. We're not alone here. Okay. The torrent of blood. Okay, so... It was all a dream. That old chestnut. Is our wife dead? I'm guessing yes. Kind of a quick time event thing. Kind of. Okay, luckily our camera's fine. I mean, that's the important thing, right? Lynn? How did we end up here? Lynn! Uh, you can always see your objective by pressing tab. Alright. Find Lynn. Nothing matters but Lynn. Well, don't know about that. Uh, let's review footage. Whoa! Demon face! <laughs> what is that? That's terrible! Uh, previous cue. Okay, next. Oh, the demon face is amazing. Okay. We're good. Um... Should I? Re I'll watch it, right? Because we'll see if that we feel like it recorded the whole crash. No, no, that was it. Okay, let's uh, let's get out of here. Okay, so we need to make it down there without falling, I guess. Um, okay, can we jump? We can jump. Okay. Uh, now the first game, apart from um, the night vision thing, it was very, very, very dark. And YouTube does compress videos and code videos darker than what they normally are. Um, so I have turned the brightness up. Oh, I have turned the brightness up um, in this like about a quarter more than than just middle. Um, so hopefully it's it's you know it's bright enough. I mean, it's supposed to be dark, but also you've got to be able to watch it and understand what the hell is going on. Okay, important events should be captured on video. Press right 
the mouse to raise the camera, recording will start automatically, indicated by a blinking rec light. Red, red rec light. When the rec, uh, uh, when the rec sign, uh, sign blinks, it means you're aiming correctly at the recording event. Aim at the event until the red circle is full to capture the moment. Okay. Easy enough. Um, battery management is huge in the first one. So, video recorded. Recorded videos, da, 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 press tab to access the camera's menu. Okay, so this is just going to be play. She wasn't there. Lim's body wasn't in the wreckage. She could still be alive. Okay, that's cool that he comments on it. I like that. Okay. Oh, shit. Jesus. Is... No, there's no bodies. She's not in here. Lynn! Lynn! All right, where to from here? Uh, use night vision to see in the dark. Raise your camera and press F. F for night vision. Makes sense. What is going on here? That did not happen in the crash. <laughs> Fuck this. Not unless Vlad the Impaler was the freaking pilot. Okay, we did it. We filmed this guy get... Well, he wasn't impaled, actually. He was just tied to a tree. So, you know, he's, he's all right. He's just having a nap. No, we're low on battery. You can look back by holding left alt. Ah, oh, shit, that's handy. Can we, can we get up? Any, oh, it's going to be pretty linear at the start, one would think. Oh. Oh, we're recording something. Down. Oh, thank God. I thought we were miles from anything. Okay, we've done a record. Press spacebar while moving to go over waist high objects, that's fine. I mean, pick up a fucking rake, man. Or whatever that thing is. I guess it's a rake. Pick up something. Defend yourself in any way. Knock. Hello? I'm lost. And hurt. Okay, there's a pile of raccoon guts. Bash it, dude. Bash it. Kick it. No? Okay, we'll continue down. Oh. What is that noise? There's a raccoon. Looking for his friends. But little does he know that someone's uh gutted them all and put them in a in a in a basket. In a bucket. Oh a basket works. Okay, we can go over here. Do we want to go over here? Move forward to uh, open the door slowly. Okay, sure. Uh, maybe take like a jacket and a hat. Just, just stay here and become a farmer. It's fine. Hey. Whoa, shit. Hey, man. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, you're... Take his porridge. Okay. He's eating um, chicken wings. Okay, pick up. Let's have a look. Photo taken. Nice. My dear sweet Ellie, I can't bear uh, what we've done not being apart from our, nor being apart from our little ones. So I'm going over and uh, hoping you forgive me for leaving you behind. And God forgives me the last trespass. I know that he had had to be offered up, but I'm all torn up inside and can't leave anymore. Uh, hopefully the end will come soon and we can be together again unless God burns me forever for this sin. Until then, I hope you find what woman's comfort you need in the arms of Papa. Okay. Yours forever. Uh, Tom. Fucking Tom. He's done a dead. Pick up battery. Yes. I don't know where our battery, um, stockpile is. Like, I don't know 
it doesn't seem to tell me anywhere how many batteries I have left. Um, okay, they're, they're super religious. Holy crap. Excuse me? I mean, I knocked on the door. Oh, what is this? It's a baby doll. Um, oh, hello, friend. Who's... Oh, that's not creepy. <laughs> that's not creepy at all. What do you want, dude? Liar, father of lies. All right. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. To peek. Hold. Q and E. Where'd liar, father of lies go? Oh, he's, he's just... He was late for supper. Can we go in here? No, we can't. Hello? Okay, we're wasting battery looking at dumb shit. Um, is it bright enough to, that I can see without... Yes, it is. Oh, you're... Why does everyone back up? Do I stink? I mean, look. There's, there's rotting carcasses here with a freaking shovel in it. There's dudes talking about liars, father of liars. There's a guy with a freaking machete. Take the shovel. Defend yourself. And also, there's no way I stink worse than these guys. So... It's not me smelling that's the problem. I think they're just rude, right? They just don't want foreigners in their lands. And they're prepared to defend themselves with machetes. Okay, I definitely heard some banging in here. Let's try and open this one. Okay, someone's not having a good time over here. I think this guy just like didn't get his pentakill or something in League of Legends and he's cracking the shits at his teammates. Just in, in the woods. He's like, why would you why would you take my kills, man? Why would you do it? Okay, we're not ooh. We're gonna need to reload soon. But we can hold off for a little bit. To open windows, press left trigger. Okay, we've done a record. Let's open this window. Ah, what the fuck was that? It was birds. Uh, Outlast is like the king of fucking like jump scares. <laughs> uh, I don't scare too easily either. So I know there was a few people in the comment section being like, oh yeah, we want to see you get freaked out and stuff. Uh, no doubt I will. I absolutely will. Um, I was considering doing Outlast 1 first, but I know all the jump scares and stuff, so it wouldn't be probably as entertaining. But this I'm going in fresh. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. Um, but I don't scare super, super easy. But these games um, do prey on... Oh, great. We can, we already have to hide. Uh, they do prey on the old um, easy jump scare thing. You can hide by crawling under beds. Fantastic. All right. So remember that's there. Get up. Do I want to have that on toggle? I don't know. Okay. Unlock and open. Let's do it. And someone's going to chase us with a knife. It's going to happen. Where's Knifey McKnifeson? No. He was also late for supper. All right, to crouch. Hold left control. Wait, hang on. Ah, shit. Okay, so if you hold left control, like if you press left control, you just crouch. But if you press C, it um, it's like perma crouch. Or maybe that's prone. Actually, that might be prone. Is that prone? Yeah, it might be actually. Anyway, let's go through here. Probably turn the light on, right? What was it to look backwards? Alt. Okay. There be someone in the bushes. It's probably lie of father of lies. Have a zoom. There's, there's there's some some asshole in the bushes. Satana 
Oh, right. <laughs> Completely missed that. Sure. Why not just delve down into a, a, a like a underground bunker thing? I mean, where else are you going to go, really? Well, at least we can save some battery here. Doesn't appear to be any recordables. Let's pick up and read this bad boy. Midwife's lament. Uh, lament, sorry. The babe is coming. Ready the knife. The babe is coming. Night's midwife. Mother of the enemy, stained within. God's creation, saved with sin. Hallelujah, slay the, uh, stay the storm. No longer must we wait. For come the dawn, the enemy born to die in temple gate. The babe is growing. Her belly swells. The babe is growing. Sent from hell. Nice. Uh, Ezekiel waits, a sharpening his blade. Gather at the gate. We kneel and pray. It's not really how you bring a baby into this world by like I don't know <laughs> like this doesn't look sanitary right <laughs> you got rusty ass shit over here you got like a crib that's made out of like shitty wood and hay bathed in blood and some like bot flies I mean if you were born into that you'd be messed up it's like Dexter what are we filming right now a uh, mass grave awesome why not Uh, let's actually see what he said about this mass grave. It was a familiar smell, almost sweet. Um, they they killed their children. This dude, my God! If what? rot if rotting babies smell sweet, what does this guy eat for a snack? He just like feasts on fucking baby toes. It's just like God. you know what. Oh, I just walk all over him, it's fine. Like, I, I'm a bit peckish. I feel like, you know, oh, maybe I'll have like a, a, a sweet coffee and uh, and and, and a, like a, a candy or something. So he just like pops out the babby toe and, you know, squeezes the blood into his coffee. And he's like, yeah, perfect amount of sweet. We do. There's, there's doll heads all over the place. Take teddy bear. He'll help. He'll, he'll give you courage. To crawl? Press C. Yeah, okay, so this is prone. Oops. That was the wrong button. Oh well, we reloaded. Uh, we, I, again, I don't know how many batteries we have at the moment, so... Seems like it's endless at the moment. Although we did pick up some, so... I don't know. That doesn't appear to be a... Uh, a counter, I can see. Yep. Where are you, friend? Some dude talking about slaying lambs. I see a, I see a, uh, bat Okay. He's over this way. There he is. Is that him? It's not him. As it turns out. Is he in there? He's not in there. It's like right in front of me, as far as the audio is concerned. Okay. Oh, what are you? You're not friendly, that's for sure. Alright, let's have a run. We probably, oh, probably need to go hide under a bed. Can I get in there? Uh, well, you know what? I don't think he's coming through a window with a giant blade like that. Do we want to unlock this door? That will let him in. Ooh, what is this? This is some bandage. Oh, shit, we can heal ourselves. Nice. Find Lin. Nothing matters but Lin. Shut up, dude. We just got batteries. It, clearly, it, it, it means something. Uh, I don't know... It said something about going to tab to learn the, 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 the how to look at your left pocket to interact with your batteries. Ah, oh, so that's how we see our stock. Nice. So we've only got two left. Holy shit. 
and that's our uh, stockpile of bandages. All right, fair enough. So we probably want to open this here bolt, and there's going to be Axe Guy like right in our face. Oh shit, he's not. All right, Axe Guy, I'll see you later. This reminds me of um, Jurassic Park 2, when they're in like the barn thing, and um, the girl goes to go underneath and like the raptor comes up. Hopefully you know what I'm talking about. Alright, over we go. You can move objects by holding this. Brilliant. Okay, let's move this to here, and climb up. Oh, yeah, I hate him. I fucking hate his guts. Jerk. Did someone just come in here? No, that's us moving around that's making that noise. All right. Whoops. Oh, man. Chapter 8. And your people have made ball with the fields and... Okay, this is, this is some... Well, you know what? I'm going to leave this here like this. And then if you want to pause and read it, you can. Um, but we're not going to read everything, otherwise we'll be here till like Christmas. So, there you go. Get up, dude. You can't, you can't get up. Okay. Oh, no, no. We did a fall. And we've lost our glasses. Nope, we've regained glasses. Are they broken? Oh, Jesus! Oh, hello. You'll have. God wants to be dead? Okay. <laughs> I mean, look. They've got one move, and it's back away into the darkness. They do it tremendously well. Like, if you, if you ever need, for like, kids' parties or something, um, if you ever need, like, a creepy dude to just back away into the darkness, I mean, come here. Come to wherever we are, Arizona. Hire these guys. They'll do a bang-up job. And, um, you know, five, five out of five stars. Uh, would walk into darkness, back into darkness again. Can we move... Can we move this so we can get out of here? Apparently not. Okay, up... Oh, we can hide in a bucket? It's a torch. Fucking take... Man, this guy's... This guy's deserves to die. Right? He's not taking anything to defend himself with. He's got a dude out there with a giant axe. And he's not taking anything to defend himself with. I mean, clock a dude over the head with a radio. That'll hurt. Alright. Where's axe guy? As soon as we get out of here, it's gonna be axe guy. <gasps> It's not. It's not Axe Guy at all, actually. Okay. Uh, I'm not entirely sure where we're meant to be going. Doesn't seem this way is the way. So, I guess it's this way. But this seems like... No, okay. I got turned around. Uh, we do need to do the old reload. And we can probably turn our thing off going in here. There's a bed we can hide under. Is there a dude in the bed? No, it's just a hat. Okay, your camera is equipped with a microphone. Press V to hear through walls and tracks. Oh my god. What is this game? Like, holy shit. So many mechanics. This is fucking cool. Can we, can we lock this? Wait, are we still tracking sound? So we can definitely hide under this bed, like so. You gotta take these games slow, right? You can't just rush it, you gotta explore everything, make sure you get all the batteries, make sure you get everything you need. This sound thing is, is a really cool addition actually. I hope you don't need to use it all the time though, because it could get a bit tedious, but 
for here and there, checking your surroundings and stuff. It's pretty cool. All right, let's unlock this. And we know that there's a dude right, right outside. There he is. Crimson red. Hide you in Ezekiel's blood. Or hide you in the blood. Hide you. Alright, buddy. You're not gonna hide me in no blood. I'm not I'm not having it. Okay, I think there's a dude over here as well. Over that way. Forsaken. True forsaken. Yep. All right, uh, do we do a sneak, maybe? Sneak through these, like, reeds? Maybe? This is where the other dude was. Let's have a listen. There he is. You're over here somewhere. I don't know exactly where. Oh, there. Okay, moving on. Oh no, it's very, very dark in here. We can hide in here. Uh, can we close the door? We can close the door. Turns out there's a battery in here. So, nice. Let's move on. So there's going to be like a patrol, right? Yeah, here he comes. So we're going to have to wait for this dick. Uh, let's see where we can... We can hide in these baskets. Uh, why is everything a basket? Holy shit. Hide in these buckets. Okay, it's probably not the worst idea right now. And then have a peek. Oh, no. Has he seen us? Yes. Yes, he has. <laughs> no. No! Run! Friend! Run! Oh, pack. Okay. Yep. Okay, good. We have nowhere to hide. Out here, I don't think. He's, he's, he's coming. There's no way you can see us here, though, surely. All right, where is our health bar? Like, it says heal, but we don't have a health bar. We just have blood around, around like, the screen. Um, let's see how much blood we can get away with before having to heal. He definitely came in the door. Okay, let's have a listen. Oh, you can hear, like, your heart beating and stuff. That's pretty cool, actually. He's just going back to his patrol, I think. We probably shouldn't have been peeking for that long. Uh, where is he? There he is. Okay. So maybe if we go... ...and hide in here again. Right, and don't peek like an idiot and turn off our light and we can track him by sound maybe I don't know which way's which though <laughs> okay, should we have a peek I don't think we should actually okay let, let's have it let's have a sneaky peek Ah, balls! What? This guy's got fucking eagle vision, man! Oh, okay. Turns out... Turns out we were nearly dead. Like, you peek your head out of a thing that's in the darkness, he's just like, DIE! Straight away. Like, he just... He's, he's, he's got it all covered. Alright. First death. Okay, let's open the door. We know that there's this dude singing about Ezekiel's blood. Stop! Oh, fuck! As if you're right there! Come on! Wait, 
Pretty good. Pretty good. Where are we? We're in a rock. No, we're in a bush. Okay. You know, there's worse places to be than in a bush. Let's have a heal. Nice. Uh, so there he is. He's right. Wait, did it just get lighter? Or am I dreaming? Come on, guy, hurry up. We just need to get past you. It shouldn't be this freaking difficult. Foxes. Foxes walk upon it. If he sees me, this is absurd. Yeah, keep walking. Keep walking, fuck Todd. Does he do a full lap? Oh, he's like looking right at us. If I leave now, he's gonna see me, right? Hurry up, leave. Do you go in that in that house? No, okay, we're gonna we're gonna do the old. I was gonna say a dash for cash, but this is definitely not a dash. We're gonna do the old crawl for crawl for cash, uh, and now we may want to think about moving. Okay, we did it. We got past the guy. <laughs> uh, how do we? Oh, something. What just happened? It was a really bad time to press escape. Okay, a foghorn of light has hit us. What the fuck was that? What is going on? Do I want to go this way or do I... Okay, you know what? Let's just pick this battery up. They're all... M gone fucking nuts. Oh, oh no. Daddy. Daddy, help. Fire. <laughs> okay. You can't even see me. Please. Like they're... Daddy, oh God. It's like they're... Daddy, help. Oh God. Okay, we... We need a foghorn of light. Holy shit do we need a foghorn of light. Okay, my love, please try to uh, be strong as you can. Papa tells us uh, at every service that God remembers us, uh, our sins in our dreams. And we got to face our sins if we're going to get right with God. Sorry, punched the microphone. Uh, if the visions are getting worse and the dreams uh, are in our waking eyes, it just means that the trial uh, tribulations are coming closer and that it'll be hard but there's paradise on the other side. God loves us and don't never, don't never get us, uh, give us more than we can handle. Yours always, Philippe. We, we need a foghorn of, of, of light in a major way. Okay, they're talking about Lynn. Let's have a record. With me. Uh, FYI, I'm not religious in the slightest. So, um, if you are, and that's fine. Like, you can do what you want. But if I scoff at religion a little bit, like playing these things and make fun of it or whatever, uh, I don't mean any harm. I'm just not religious. And so, some of the like super religious things I find a bit funny. Um, but let's leave it there. We're at 39 minutes. No doubt when we go through this door, there's going to be some cutscene or something. So we'll leave it here. Uh, but when we come back, we will pick up from just here. I don't know if this auto saves or not. I didn't notice it auto saving, but there is a save and exit option right here. Uh, change save slot. Turns out it did. It did auto save. Uh, so we'll save and exit. And uh, when we come back, we will continue from here. This looks like it's going to be some form of chapel or something. Um, so maybe we're going to go get married. Um, but probably not because they've got our wife and they took the gag off and she was screaming it's probably not the ideal time to get married although if we walk in here and it's just all our friends and family and it's just like oh gotcha game over that would be funny but i don't think it's gonna happen either way hopefully you're enjoying it 
as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.